بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم دس از فوزیا سعید اینڈ ویلکم ٹو مائی چینل بایولوجی ایکسپرٹ ٹوڈے وی ول اسٹڈی اباؤٹ دا فارمیشن آف گیمٹس بٹ بفور اسٹارٹنگ دا گیمٹ فارمیشن وی مسٹ فرسٹ انڈرسٹینڈ واٹ از سومولوگس کروموسوم اینڈ آفٹر دیٹ وی ول ڈسکس دا گیمٹ فارمیشن ان ہیومن اے ٹیپیکل باڈی سیل کارڈ سومیٹک سیل ہیز فورٹی سکس کروموسوم If we use a microscope to examine a human chromosome in metaphase of mitosis, we see that the chromosome, each consisting of the two sister chromatids, can be arranged into the matching pairs. Figure illustrates one pair of the metaphase chromosomes. A human cell at metaphase contains the 23 sets of duplicated chromosomes. Other species have different number of the chromosome, but these two usually occur in matched pairs. Moreover, when treated with the special dyes, the chromosomes of the pair display the matching staining, pat, uh, staining pattern represented by the color strips in the figure. Notice that each chromosome is duplicating, consisting of two sister chromatids joined at the centromere. Every chromosome has a twin that resembles it in length and centromere position. The two chromosomes of such a matching pair are called homologous chromosome because they both carry the genes controlling the same inherited characteristics for example if a gene that determines whether a person has a freckle is located at a particular locus or a place on one chromosome within a narrow orange band in our drawing for instance then the homologous chromosome has that same gene at a same locus however the two chromosome of a homologous pair may have different version of a same gene homologous chromosome carry the same gene at a particular locus for example if purplish area represents the gene for a eye color all four chromatid carry the gene for eye color but the version of allele may differ suppose it can be dominant and recessive At the start of the interface every chromosome has single chromatid so every gene has two allele but at the end of interface due to the dna replication every chromosome has two chromatid or you can say uh, one pair of homologous chromosome has four chromatid so every gene has four allele and after the cell division each cell will get the two allele of a single gene in human female the 46 chromosome fall neatly into 23 homologous pairs for a male however the chromosome in one pair do not look alike the non identical pair only partly homologous is the male sex chromosome these sex chromosomes determine an individual sex although these chromosome carry genes that perform other function as well in mammal male has one x chromosome and one y chromosome female has two x chromosome the 22 remaining pair of chromosomes both in uh, male and female are called autosome the next is human as well as other animals in many plants are said to be a diploid organism because all body cell contain the pair of homologous chromosomes the total number of chromosome is called the diploid number for humans the diploid number is 46 that is 2n is equal to 46 the exceptions are the egg and the sperm cells collectively known as gametes each gamete has a single set of chromosomes and 23 autosome plus a sex chromosome either x or y a cell with a single chromosome set is called haploid cell it has only one member of each homologous pair for example in humans the haploid number is 23 that is n is equal to 23 all sexual life cycle including or on involve in alteration of diploid and haploid stages producing the haploid gametes prevents the chromosome number from doubling in every generation gametes are made by a special sort of cell division called meiosis which occurs only in reproductive organs like 
ovaries and testes whereas mitosis produces the daughter cells with the same number of chromosome as the parent cell mitosis reduces the number by half as shown in the figure if we talk about um, the interface uh, the number one each of the chromosome is duplicated during interphase before meiosis number two the first division meiosis second segregates two chromosomes of the homologous pair packaging them in a separate or haploid daughter cell but each chromosome is still doubled and number third meiosis two separates the sister chromatids each of the four daughter cell is haploid and contain only a single chromosome from a homologous pair. And here is the human life cycle. Uh, you can see in the diagram that the sperm is a gamete that comes from the male and the egg uh, is a gametes come from the female and after uh, the feeding of the male and the female gametes there is a formation of the zygote and after the zygote formation zygote then divide mitotically and it divides mitotically and produce a multicellular organism that's all uh, thanks for watching please do subscribe my channel for more interactive and conceptual contents related to biology.